So many of us have always wondered, what is Cisco IT doing with application-centric infrastructure? Well, here with us today is John Woolwine, a distinguished IT engineer within the Global Infrastructure Services Organization. John, how does application-centric infrastructure, or ACI, benefit Cisco IT? Well, the benefits really fall into two big buckets. One of those buckets is around cost. The cost to us as service providers within infrastructure the cost that we get hit with in trying to deliver the service. ACI enables automation. Today, we're doing a lot of manual uh, kinds of changes in the network. We're making manual updates. We're touching the data center network on a box-by-box -box basis. Uh, what happens with ACI is we no longer have fingers on keyboards, engineers typing in configuration. What we have is a centralized controller where we're able to make programmatic changes out to all the devices in the network. And, and in most cases, that's happening all simultaneously. So, so a lot of the cost benefits that we see from ACI really come out to, uh, you know, operating expenditures, uh, our engineers, um, you know, leveraging automation more and, and touching uh, the keyboard a lot less. Uh, we also see some benefits around ACI when it comes to the other infrastructure in the data center. So for example, the compute infrastructure, the storage infrastructure, we get some benefits there by being able to optimize the amount of that infrastructure we put in our data centers because what we have with ACI is the ability to place any workload anywhere and because of that we don't strand resources like compute capacity and storage capacity as much as we've done traditionally. Now the other big bucket when it comes to ACI benefits is around speed. Our time frames to deliver infrastructure tend to be many weeks and in today's world of cloud that's an eternity. We need to become much faster at being able to deliver infrastructure as a service. What we also see is that the application teams benefit from that automation as well because what they're doing is they're interacting with a private cloud automation system and they are ordering infrastructure resources on demand, self-service. And what's happening is the cloud automation system is pushing uh, orchestration activities down into ACI and ACI is then appropriately configuring the network based on what's been ordered by that application team. So, uh, you know, to, to recap that, there's two big benefits that we see. One is cost, mostly around operating expenditures, and the other is speed, which our application teams love. Cisco IT has to manage thousands of applications. What do you see as the biggest impact ACI has in the area of applications? Well, we have a hugely heterogeneous environment with so many applications and platforms within our data centers. Uh, we have massive Oracle ERP environments. We also have you know, big Microsoft-based environments like Exchange for email and calendaring. You know, for us, the real benefit of ACI comes with ACI's abstracted policy model. We're able to, to take an application, see the basic components of that application, and define them in simple application terms within ACI. And, and the benefits of doing that not only come when you instantiate a single environment, but as you go through the different stages of development. So the ability to, to take a copy of an existing environment and, and its policy and its connectivity as defined in ACI and simply apply that somewhere else in a different data center perhaps where you're doing development or stage or some kind of test, test environment. You can do that with ACI in a matter of seconds, and it normally would take us weeks to basically build that environment out by hand in order to replicate it. So with ACI, that application team can get a replica of their environment built almost instantaneously from a networking perspective. And the same applies to storage and compute as well. The programmability that ACI brings to the table is a huge benefit. Aren't there also tremendous gains from integrating ACI with back-end systems such as orchestration? Where is Cisco IT in this area? So absolutely, and it's on our roadmap. We have to not just put ACI as a solution in place, but we also have to integrate that into our private cloud automation systems. 
and then fully orchestrate that all through our service catalog. You know, the real magic here with ACI is once you connect it to these, these private cloud automation systems and get all this stuff working together, the customer, the application team in our case, can call up our service catalog and they can click on whatever they want and get everything almost instantaneously. At that stage, we've taken a process that used to involve many weeks and many people. We've taken that down to a matter of minutes and very few people being involved. Now, getting to that stage will take a while. While we've already introduced ACI into one of our data centers in San Jose where we do product development, we still have to deploy ACI into our other production data centers around the globe where we see a very diverse and heterogeneous workload environment. Once that's done, we'll be building the integration with our private cloud automation systems and at that point in time we'll be tapping into the real value of ACI. To learn more about ACI and find out more success stories around Cisco IT deployments, please visit the Cisco IT homepage on Cisco.com.